This is YSM Sports Media. I want to thank you for all your love and support. Really appreciate it. We wouldn't be able to do this without you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and click the notification button for all future content. How did you get in the box? Well, I'm going to tell you the truth. I got in the box because I, I, was, I was from the street. I was a good street fighter. I'm from uh, Brickyard. Mm. The gang. I'm from up there. But I never ganged it. But I, you know, I didn't mind. I didn't mind giving out fat ones and something like that or, or fighting. I love the fight, but I didn't like to jump nobody over in the gang or nothing like that. You know what I mean? My family used to run the whole brickyard back in the day. You know what I mean? But uh, how I got into boxing is I went over to the gym one day and um, I went over there for one reason. And um, I just went over there that day and I went over there to learn how to use my left hand because you know, all the guys, fight on the southpaw side yeah. back in the day. Yeah. We wouldn't use the, the left hand, we used the, the right hand. Mm. And so I went over to the gym really to know how to use my left hand, you know what I mean? But when I went over there one day, I went over there and I boxed this, uh, this kid that had been boxing for five years on, on the orthodox side and I beat him. And I beat him up. So I said, man, yeah, let me try this out. So I stayed in the gym, was working my left hand. That was all she wrote. I stayed in the gym. I was boxing everybody. I was boxing everybody, man. I boxed Cyclone Hard. I boxed uh, Willie the Worm, Monroe. I boxed uh, 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 Bobby Watts. Damn. I boxed <laughs> all of them. I boxed all of them older guys. They, they, they was a few years older than me. Okay. You know what I mean? They, were they um, already pros? They were already established? Yeah, they, they, they was pros. Now, as a matter of fact, when I was boxing them, I think I was... Yeah, yeah, okay, I might have turned pro. I turned pro in 1976. But yeah, I was boxing. I boxed, uh, matter of fact, I boxed Saad Muhammad. I boxed a lot of them guys, man. And I boxed uh, Eddie uh, Eddie Gregory. That's, that's Eddie Mustafa Muhammad. When he was Eddie Gregory. In that same gym, my old dungeon. All the good fighters used to come in that, that dungeon, man. You know, I boxed all of them, uh, all them guys, man. And that's how I got into the uh, boxing thing, because I was a street fighter. You know what I mean? I used to love to fight, man, in the streets. I had guys coming from jail trying me. Yeah? You know I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Guys from my way, they used to, you know what I mean, got locked up and come home, you know, they boxing in jail. They used to come home and try me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to have fun back then, man. And this is what I try to tell these guys, man. The guys that they that's boxing, if you're from the street and you box, a street guy will take it to another level when he's fighting for a title, for whatever. But if a guy just, you know, came into the gym and never from the streets, mm. and he's like, say he's like, what would you say? Uh, all we had things his way, you know what I mean? People yeah. bought him this, bought him that, you know what I mean? Or a like, silver spoon, whatever you want to say, yeah. something like that. Them guys, majority of them won't take it to another level. But a street guy, so used to being in the street, fighting and rumbling and all that, they'd take it to another level because they're used to that. They're used to that fight. So if they fight for a world title, they're going to fight till they can't fight no more. That's the, the uh, referee going to stop the fight. You know what I mean? That's what I tell them. I, I tell them the difference between a street fighter, you know what I mean, and a guy that turned professional from the street, and a guy that never was in the street and just switched you know, straight to the you know, title or whatever. You know what I mean? He's not going to take it to another level. Is, is that why a lot of star boxers, kids, when they try to box, they never quite live up to yeah, expectations? Yeah, expectation. That's right, because cause they, they weren't from the streets. Mm -hmm. They weren't in the streets, you know what I mean? Like back in the day where, you know what I mean, you had to fight all the time, you know what I mean? Like a, a Chavez Jr. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's another one, yeah. You know what I mean? He had to do nothing. He wasn't nothing like his father, you know what I'm saying? You know? And, that, and that's what I try to tell all, them, all the guys today, man that uh, if you come from the street and, and, you know, poverty and all that stuff and, you know, hard time coming up, man, once you start fighting and you get to a, a level where you get ready to fight for a title or, or even, it ain't got to be a, a world title, but some kind, you're going to fight. You can't teach that hunger, can you? No, 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 no. Can't teach that, man. Can't teach that. And you can't, and you can't give nobody no heart because you see a lot of these fighters today, as long as they beating on you, they fine. When you start beating on them, everything changes, man. 
What is it like getting hit with a big shot or maybe getting uh, knocked down? Have you ever been knocked down? I've been knocked down one time. Okay. What, yeah. what, what is that like? But it, 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 it wasn't really nothing because when you're in condition, you'll get back up and, and shake it off, you know what I mean? But you gotta be in condition, man, to take them type of shots. That's only one time in my life I've been knocked down. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? That was back in, uh, matter of fact, it was a pro fight too. It was, it was yeah, a pro fight? Yeah, yeah, and I really beat him, but they gave it to him because he was from Sugar Ray Leonard's um, uh, uh, training camp. Oh, he's a Maryland guy? Huh? He's a Maryland guy? Yeah, he was okay. one of Sugar Ray Leonard's fighters. Okay. Yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah, taking a punch, man. See, I'm not, like I tell my, my guys, they be asking me, oh, can this guy punch all that? You know, I don't know, man. I'm not in the game to take punches, man. Yeah. It's like Bruce would tell me. I tell Bruce, I said, man, that boy can punch, man. Who said that? No, I don't know, man. I said, Bruce, you gonna say that about everybody because you don't get hit flush with them shots. But that boy can punch. Mm. You know what I mean? You know, that's why I tell all them guys, man. Yeah, if you don't get hit by them, you know, you gonna say, no, I don't know. If you get hit in the shoulder, you can tell when somebody can punch, man. Mm. I don't care what they say, man. Now, there's, there's like, um, I guess, an age-old adage where they say you can't, you can't uh, teach power. Yeah. Can, yeah. So uh, power has to come natural. Well, see, you know, you can... I think you, I mean, you, I think you can, you, you can teach. It, it's all in, in your body, man. You got to sit down and turn your shots properly. You know what I mean? But you got to practice this stuff. Mm. Practice and practice and practice. You know what I mean? But see, a lot of them guys, you know, that they say can't punch. You know what I mean? I see a couple guys that say can't punch. I see them knock somebody out. To me, speed is power. Mm. You know what I mean? The punch that you don't see knocks you out. Not the punches that you got a strong guy punching hard. You can tense your body off of that. You know what I mean? But a guy saying, you know what I'm coming? And man, I didn't see that shot. That's what knocked you out. That's like a bullet from a gun. You know what I mean? Same thing. But uh, a lot of people say you can't teach power, but uh, you know, yeah, I think you, you know, you can if you started off from the beginning, like when they was younger. You know what I mean? You can teach them then, but I don't know about when they get older, what you get to. But it's all in your hips and shoulders, man, and your feet. You know what I mean? Turning your, turn your, your, your shots properly, man. And sitting down with them shots. What, what about those guys that knock people out with, like, arm punches? That's that's just natural, just strength? When they knocking out with arm punches? Yeah, like, you, you ever see the guy that doesn't really punch properly? Yeah. Like, maybe like a, a Deontay Wilder. Yeah, where, see? That's what I'm talking yeah. about. See, he's, he, he's naturally strong. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. He's real strong. Any smack you can knock you out. So, you know what I mean? He's not even throwing the punches properly a lot of times. Mm. It still knocks you out. So that's strength. That's natural strength. Oh, that's natural, man. He, now, now, I noticed that the, the guys with like the skinny, wiry frames yeah. punch the hardest. Punches, Why is that? They punches, man. They ain't nothing but bones. They punches, <laughs> man. Look at Thomas Turner. Yeah. Hey, Punching power, man. Uh, uh, who else was like that? Uh, 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 Mike McCullough. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, what you come to? Uh, my man. Uh, I'll tell you why the trend. He used to be his trend. He ain't it no more. Mark Breland. Mark Breland was another knockout. You know what I mean? I think it's, it's you want to say it's thin them, them arms? That's where their power is behind once you get the stitching on it. And then you shift your shoulder the proper way. You know what I mean? Yeah, but them guys, yeah, them guys is punches, man. You know what I mean? Because, but like Marvin Hagler, he wasn't no puncher. Them guys are no punches, but they get you with accumulation, accumulation of punches. See, I don't care who you fight, and they tell me this boy can't punch. If that guy keep on hitting you on that same spot, eventually that spot gonna get weak, and he'll be able to take you out. You get hit in that same spot. That's what I tell everybody. Now, uh, speaking of Marvin Hagler, did you tr were you in the camps with uh, Bobby Watts and Willie the Monroe when they fought him? No, no, no. This was uh, this was after. This is after that. Okay. That was after that, yeah. Not a lot of people know that Philadelphia fighters were the uh, first guys to give him his yeah. losses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do opponents struggle with the Philadelphia style? Well, you know, Philly got Philly got some of the best fighters in, in the world, man. Mm. And, and the old saying, if, if, if you make it through Philly, you can make it through anywhere. And that's the truth, man. And they always had good fighters. Like, like today, they still got them, but some of, them, some of them don't take it to, you know, to another level, though. You know what I mean? Some of them just in there, you know, they say that they box and all that stuff. And, you know, but um, once they put their mind to it and, and start training hard and do what they're supposed to do, ain't too many people beating them Philly fighters, man. 
You know what I mean? Especially if you got the right people behind you, you know, it's pushing you, you know? I think Philly is one of the, the, the greatest fighting city in the is, man. You know? Now, Floyd made the shoulder roll, I guess, famous, <laughs> but we know it, it's the Philly it shell, from right? Came from here. So is that something that every gym teaches, or is, is everybody tries to learn that? But you know, what I mean, most of the people from Philly that do it is, 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 is like natural. Hmm. You know what I mean? You know, Georgie Benton is the main one that started that stuff. You know what I mean? All the stuff that I do, it, it was automatic. But I started doing. I didn't copy off of nobody. Slipping and catching and working on defense, all that. Nobody never taught me that. I picked that up on, on, on my own because I don't like getting hit. I'm not scared of getting hit though, but I don't like getting hit. So when you don't like getting hit, you want you want to work on that on, on your defense uh, to the team, man. You know what I mean? So is, is that what you you teach defense first? Oh no, you, well see what I teach first is how to walk and throw punches. How you step properly from the beginning. And when you step in properly with your your, your feet, you know what I mean? And, and using your jab when you step in, and you know. All that stuff. I, I, I took you to a drill, man. To for a while, man. For weeks and weeks with drills. I know how to walk. Know how to step. Know how to dance. You know what I mean? That's the most proper thing to do when you start from the beginning. Hmm. Not just get on there and start hitting the bag and, and get in the ring and start boxing. When you start that, throwing them guys in the ring and boxing, you them guys leave the gym because you, you're not teaching them nothing. Hmm. You just throw them in the gym in the, in the ring and see what they got before you even teach them proper way now you, people rave about your son's defense right, slickness right. and the speed do you feel like his power is underrated no well you know you can't say his power underrated because look at the, look how many knockouts he got yeah but nobody ever talks about it though yeah, and he's yeah, like like yeah. he's putting people out but people yeah. like maybe earl spence they looked at his punchers but yeah. boots his his knockout ratio yeah it is a lot better. Right, right, right. Yeah, but I see what you're saying. Yeah, a lot of people fight, like I told him before, they put, they think he can't punch, but he can punch. You know what I mean? And he's getting better and better each time. And he's stopping guys that never been stopped before. You know what I mean? So that tell you right there, he can punch. How frustrating was the Van Heeren fight? It ended in a no contest off of a headbutt. That was real frustrating, man. You know, we talked to him. Um, uh, uh, Boots that talked to Van, and we was on a podcast. We always on, you know, on the Zoom. Yeah. Uh, me, Boots, uh, Van Aaron, mm. and uh, the guy that was in the interview with us. And they was going back and forth. Van, and he's a nice guy, you know what I mean? He said he, he you know, he's so happy to fight, you know, fight uh, Boots, you know what I mean? You know, and uh, he wished him well. I mean, he talked real nice, and then his father died. And, you know, we, we said we saw it down here about the fight. Wasn't no thing where we argued and stuff, but we, you know what I mean? Mm. So the, the dude that was uh, announcing, doing announcing all that, told me, yeah, man, uh, uh, who said he going to knock you out? He going to start you and stuff like that. Mm. And uh, he started laughing. But he said, yeah, well, you know, but I'm not going to fight him like I fought Spence. You know what I mean? I said, I wish he would fight Because <laughs> he would have been out there earlier. Because mm. he, he fought Spence. He said, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be different this time when I, when I box boots. When I fight him, it's going to be different. It's going to be the same. That's what he said. And so when he said that about boots, you know, I said, yeah, I'm going to try to take boots in deep water. Once I take them in deep all I'm saying that. Mm. After six rounds, then I'm going to be on drop, you know, stuff like that. So boots, when he said something about knocking him out, boots said, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try. But if not, you know, go to distance, go to distance. But, yeah, I'm going to try to knock him out. And, you know what I mean? He, you know, he, he said, I just really respect you, Boots, and all this stuff. I know you're a good fighter, and, and you know, you know, he's a nice dude, man. So, and at, at, when he fought, and he hit about the Boots, I knew he was going to do something. I said, because Boots came out, and Boots did what I told him to do. I told him to go out there and back him up automatically. Because a lot of these guys can't fight backing up. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the majority of guys that go forward, they can't go backwards. So Boots did what I told him to do. Going and started hitting with them body shots and hand shots. He started dancing. You was, thought he was Sugar Ray Leonard. <laughs> I never saw him do that before. And I said, well, we got him. I said, when I was in the corner, I said, we got him now. And so Boots, he started feeling that power. Boots started hitting him. When I looked at the fight, when he gets the rope, Boots was going in. See, when Boots hurt you, he go for the kill. I told Boots, you, know, you got to be careful, man, when you're going in. We were straight. The ball bounced off the ropes and did like this. 
I watched it again. He, you know, Boost was coming in though. You know what I mean? Mm. And, and he had money. I think I thought it was intentional. I thought he was. He, he was you, you thought he was looking for a way out? Because he didn't want to be one of the guys that got knocked out like Boost been knocking guys out. Mm. And he knew he, he ain't no way of winning. You know, so he had to get out some kind of way. You know what I mean? But he probably thought he was going to cut Boost too. But Boost didn't get cut. Yeah, that, he, and he got a hell of a cut. Nasty cut. Oh yeah, I seen the blood was dripping out and everything, man. And then he came over to Boots. Afterwards, when they put the stuff on him, he came over to Boots. He said, "Man, first he said it to me before he even came to Boots." He said, "Man, that, that kid right there, he's a hell of a fight. He's gonna be a hell of a fighter, man." He said he hit harder than Spence. I said, "What?" He said, "Yeah, he hit harder than Spence. Just like that." He walked over and told Boots, he said, man, I was trying to, you know, get you, take you in the deep waters and all that, but shh, you hit harder than Spence, man. I ain't know you hit like that. Just like that. You know what I mean? Took pictures with him and everything. I got a picture with him when he got the band wrapped around his head. Him and Boots. I got a picture of that. You know what I mean? It, is that a fight that you, you want again or you yeah, looking past? I, I would want it for the rematch. But... When I went up on, on, I don't know what he was on. I got it, I think I got it on my phone. He was saying, he wasn't saying nothing about fighting Boots in a rematch for the title. He told me, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna fight all them and that, and all this. I said, damn, I would wanna fight Boots, you know, for the title, for the rematch. Mm. He ain't think about fighting Boots, man. You know what I mean? I got it on my phone, too. Do, now, do you think that that performance because this was supposed to be the step-up fight. This is supposed to be, uh, all right, we're going to see. But listen, Do you think uh, that scared off a lot of the top contenders? But listen, all of his fights were supposed to be a step-up fight. The little Russian, I mean, the little uh, Kazakhstan guy, mm. you know what I mean? He was supposed to be a step-up fight. Then after that, uh, what's that? Uh, Abru. Abru? Uh, Abreu. Abreu. Yeah. He was supposed to be a step-up fight. Now, this one was supposed to be a step-up fight. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. So... Every fight that he fights, he's going to be a step-up fight. And see, you know, you can't satisfy everybody, man. You know what I mean? Everybody's going to say, oh, he ain't fight nobody, you know. You know what I mean? That's all in the game. And most of it is your own people. You, you know, these people, um, Philly's one of the haters, uh, haters town there is, man. This is one of the haters place on this earth, man. They hate on people, man. When they all should be coming together, man. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, it's a shame, man, you know. Just like the Spanish guys, they're all together. Even though we all in the gym together, when they got a fight, oh, they, they, they what they got. You know what I mean? Just like with us. We, we should be with our guy. You know what I mean? Now, if you in here with us and you're Spanish or you white or whatever, oh, yeah, we with you. You you from our gym. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, but that's the way it's supposed to be. What you doing? Oh, he, he ain't this, he ain't. These guys, all they do is hate, hate, hate. And I don't pay no attention to them, like I tell them, man. I keep a small circle, man, because I know how these guys is.